Some news from Perplexity AI this morning. The company launching an AI-powered shopping assistant to it. Uh, OpenAI recently uh, announced its own search product. How do you think about that product versus your own product versus what you're seeing now from Google with some of the AI features that it's added? We feel like we're ahead of uh, everybody else in that direction. Perplexity AI just integrated shopping directly into their chat interface. You can now search for products, compare them, read reviews from across the web, and buy them right there all through natural conversation. They're starting with Shopify integration and ShopPay, with major retailers like Home Depot already on board. Here's why this matters. While other AI chatbots just give you information, Perplexity is pushing into what their CEO calls actions, actually getting things done. So first, let me give you a quick context. Perplexity was founded in 2022 by Aravind Srinivas, an OpenAI alumni, and has quickly grown to a $9 billion valuation and they're the only company that built an AI-first search engine from scratch, while giants like Google and Microsoft are still trying to add AI to their existing search engines. They are also the first one to integrate web search into their chat and started providing source citations. As you all know, Google has been the pioneer in AI technology for many years. However, Microsoft and OpenAI completely changed the game by launching ChatGPT first, catching Google off guard. Microsoft then tried to disrupt the search engine market by integrating OpenAI into Bing, but it didn't make a significant dent in Google's dominance. Still, every now and then, we hear announcements that continue to take shots at Google search. We're not far from the time when Google's search monopoly will be disrupted, and the search market will be more evenly divided. Let me know your thoughts in comments below. While OpenAI already integrated web search into their chat experience, now Perplexity is taking another shot at Google with this announcement. Looks like this experience is already available for the pro subscription, so I gave it a try. This is the default product they are showing when you enter. But here I'm uploading a picture of Christmas tree and asking where can I buy it at discounted price. And it's able to identify the product and start showing products from different merchants such as Home Depot and Best Choice products. From there, if you'd like to buy the product, it directly takes you to checkout. And I was able to confirm that they have got free shipping. Just to double check, I asked Perplexity again about their free shipping policy. Looks like it is only for pro subscribers who use Buy With Pro feature, and it is a temporary promotional offer for limited time, and also only in US market. Reading this, it looks like it's pretty much merchant deciding what all products they want to sell with Perplexity with this promotion. And if it's not in the list, then you directly buy with the merchant at standard price and shipping rates. And Home Depot may be one of those examples where they are not a merchant yet, but you are still able to buy through this experience. Listening to Aravind, it looks like they are also actively onboarding new merchants. So I decided to give that a try to show you if you are interested in becoming a merchant with them. You just have to fill the name, website, contact details, and the vertical, and have perplexity come back to you. Now you might be thinking, isn't Jeff Bezos from Amazon a big investor in perplexity? Does that mean Amazon would become part of this at some point? Here is what Aravind said. Ask about what products you surface, what products you don't surface. Obviously, Amazon has a huge, its own search business inside its own uh, platform. Can you get Amazon products on it? Are you, you know, I hate to use the word scraping, but you know, when you look at reviews on, on other sites and you're pulling that, um, is everybody allowing all of this to happen? Are some gonna block you? How's it gonna work? Yeah, so we are also introducing this thing called the Merchant Program, the Perplexity Merchant Program, and we are inviting merchants to work with us because we think customers, consumers love this, and that's always the long-term correct direction. And so uh, if we can collaboratively build this next-generation shopping system for all customers where merchants can bring their catalog to us and product specs and help in the checkout flow, that way we can, like, you know, provide this experience to everybody. And we're already working with Shopify. We're enabling uh, people to check out products on Shopify through ShopPay and bringing, bringing it right into our search results. Uh, I mentioned Amazon because Jeff Bezos is a, is a very high profile investor in your company. Is Amazon involved and do you think that they will be? Uh, we're not yet ready to talk about who is currently in the program, but we are happy to work with everybody and that includes Amazon too. So let's throw some numbers into why Perplexity could be integrating shopping into its AI-based search engine. The global virtual shopping assistant market is experiencing remarkable growth. Valued at approximately $624.7 million in 2023, it's projected to soar 
to $4.5 billion by 2030, reflecting a compound annual growth rate of 32.9%. Key players in this space include Amazon and Google. Amazon has introduced Rufus, a generative AI-powered conversational shopping assistant designed to enhance customer interactions and streamline the purchasing process. Google continues to integrate AI capabilities to refine shopping experiences, leveraging its extensive search and AI infrastructure. While specific figures for the total addressable market in search-based shopping aren't readily available, we can glean insights from related data. In 2023, Google's advertising revenue, encompassing various services, including Google Shopping, amounted to $237.86 billion. Notably, Google Shopping ads have become a significant component of retail advertising strategies. In the US, these ads accounted for 76.4% of retail search ad spend and attracted 85.3% of all clicks in the retail sector. This underscores Google Shopping's substantial role in Google's advertising ecosystem. The average cost per click for Google Shopping ads is 66 cents, which is lower than the average CPC of $1.16 for e-commerce stores using Google Ads. The average click-through rate for Google Shopping ads stands at 0.86%. E-commerce brands typically allocate 80% of their budget to Google Shopping and 20% to pay-per-click campaigns. These dynamics illustrate why major companies are striving to capture a share of this expansive market and challenge Google's dominance in the AI-powered shopping assistant arena. So, how do you feel about integrating shopping features directly into search engines? Do you find it convenient or overwhelming? Please comment below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with the AI news.